They are USS Navy. I don't know what ship. Bunker Hill. All right. Bunker Hill. Um, who else do we know that is from Bunker Hill? Wow. Yes. My mom. Well, we don't know her name. What's her name? Miss Teresa. Miss Teresa. Oh, all right. So Miss Teresa has brought in our lovely demonstrators, our handsome demonstrators, not lovely, I guess, um, to work on our not, to work on our knot tying honor. So we're going to, in adventure and pathfinder spirit, we're going to welcome them in. So what do we say? Welcome, Mr. Poe and <laughs> All right, so um, listening ears, please. Yes? Yes. yes. All right, the floor is yours. All right. All right. Uh, first off, introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is James. I'm a bus mate on the uh, Bunker Hill. Uh, this is Cole. He is a logistics specialist. Um, correct. That is correct. You want to tell them what you do? What, what your job is? So they know? So my job pretty much is to provide supplies and support for my ship to make sure that we've got everything we can need when we're out at sea. That's my main job, is to make sure that my guys are good to go with everything they need while we're out there. Um, as both of mates, our job, when we're on the way, we're going to do... <laughs> Uh, but uh, as most of what we're going to do when we run away, we do a lot of stuff anywhere between uh, helicopter ops. So when uh, we do flight ops, when the helicopters come on, that's going to be our job is to go out there and do that. Um, we do small boat operations, so when the small boats go off and on, that's our job is to drive those. But our biggest job when we're underway and out to sea is going to be driving the ship. So that's kind of cool. Um, so if you want to do that, that, that's your way to go. And plus we play with, play with uh, knots. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass these out for you guys, so we can go over some knots like we do. Here we go. Here we go. One more? Yeah, we need one more. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Four for the big one. How many more? Just one? Uh, four, uh, five. I think they ran out. And then four for the two side tables, please, sir. You're going to want to use? Yeah, I need to tie some lines. Give me that one. I'll give my honor. You need one, right? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, the three at that table, and then the one there. Yes. I have pink, Mr. Tony. <laughs> you know what? She didn't use that one. That was just for extras, cause it's not real. We're not swinging our rope around. We're not swinging our ropes. Shoe strings. That is a good one. Come on in, Kevin. Get you some rope. No, it's none of the above. Please get a chair, Kevin, and sit with Anne. I'll be there.
Types of uh, knots we want to do. We're going to call them knots. Uh, you're going to have hitches, knots, and bends. Okay, they're all going to have different purposes. A hitch is going to be quick and easy. So you're going to do a half hitch, a clove hitch, or a rolling hitch. That's pretty much predominantly what we use. Um, with knots, we have a whole lot of different knots. So you got the square knot, a thief's knot, which is basically a, a wrong square knot. Um, there's a bowling, double bowling, bowling on a bike, Spanish bowling. There's a lot of bowling. Basically, that's uh, primarily what we use a lot is the bowling. And then with bends, the only one that uh, we use for the most part is the Beckett bend. And uh, a lot of these are what we're going to be going over today. Um, so at first, we're going to start with the hitches. So when you tie your shoes, what's the first step, right? You got your uh, two lines right there, right? Basically, that's a half hitch. Okay, so we're going to use a half hitch when we not use secure something to a pole or a line real quick and easy. So if your finger is the pole, Let's imagine this is uh, some random rail, right? We're going to take the line, and we're just going to fold it up underneath just like we're tying our shoes. So that first step in tying the shoes, and that's our half hitch. Oh, oh. So that's your half hitch, just like that. What? Which one are you? Put your finger like this, right? Yeah, just like that. We're going to go around and help you guys out. There we go. Perfect. Really? Up the Just like you tie your shoes. That first step. Yep. That's the first step. So you guys ready? So here's your pole. You did it right. Just imagine a step. That you pull it right here. So we're going to come around the pole, and then we're going to pitch it up, and underneath. Yes, you see that? I'm ripping back. Paul, we're doing the floor. You guys all got it? You got it. 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 So here's our rail. So it's our imaginary rail right here. We're going to go around it and tuck it up and underneath. Just like we're trying to do it. Look, crew, I'm getting my honor. Oh, it's like purple. It's purple. Yeah. I'm trying to turn it on with the pole. Yeah, Listen, I'm off duty. So if you're sitting here, I'm Oh, right, so I think everybody's got the, uh, the half hitch. So that's a pretty easy one. That's uh, the most basic one we're going to do. We don't need to do a whole lot. That's just a real quick and easy if we have to do it on a hurry. Um, after that, we're going to do the clove hitch. We do that one most often as far as hitches go. We're going to use that one probably if we need to hitch something 90% of the time. And with the clove hitch, <laughs> it's going back on a second. Here's what we're going to do, okay? It's a similar concept. 
So here's our pole. We're going to come around, then we're going to make an X. We're going to make an X on the front of our finger. And all we're going to do now is hitch it up and under just like we did the first time. Okay. All we did was add that extra, extra line over the top. One more game here. Alright. <laughs> 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 Alright, so one more time. And I'm gonna come around and help you guys. So we got our line. Here's our pole. We're gonna come around the pole. Back around the pole to where we got an X. And then you're gonna bring it underneath the right side of the X. Got it. And we got a quote pitch. Alright, I think we're ready now. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the knots. Um, the first knot we're going to go over is the square knot. Okay? Uh, square knot is something we're going to use if we have two lines. Where's my fat line? Oh, yeah. There you go. So now if we need to combine two lines, I got this line and this line, and they're both attached to something else. That's attached to him, and that's attached to her. So now we need to combine these two lines. What we're going to do, we're going to take our two, two ends, we're going to go right over left, make that half hitch, just like we're tying our shoes, right? And we're going to take left now over right, and do the exact same thing. And we got a square knot. Right? That's what we use that line for. And I'll show you how we do it on one line. How do you do that? What's that? Like this? So, he's going to show you guys one more time. He's going to show you on, the, on one single line. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it on yours, okay? We got our two ends. And we're going to take our right one, just like we're tying our shoes. Remember, like we did earlier? Right there, right? And before we tighten it, now we're going to take our left one that we just brought over the right. Right? See, this one goes over the top, the same one. We're going to keep focus on this one. It's going to come over, and it's going to come under, and now it's going to go back over again. And back through. Oh my God. Yeah. I already did it. And that's how you do a square knot. See, now what a lot of people are going to do, and as I'm trying to show you guys, what a lot of people are going to want to do, they're going to take this one, the right one, they're going to go underneath. So right's going to go over, and they're gonna take now the right again over and under. So that's so not right. right. Over left and then right over left again. That's a thief snot. Uh, the reason that's called a thief snot back in the day they uh, square knots, right? So before we had wallets and cash, what they would do is they'd have a coin purse and they would carry around gold, gold coins. And so if they would make square knots on their little belt loops and, and uh, on their belts. And so people would make square knots wrong and they'd make a what we now call a thief snot. And so thieves would walk around and they would see that they missed, uh, they messed up on the square knot. And so they'd see it. And the thieves knot, you can actually pull just a little bit, and it'll come undone. So thieves walk around and steal people's cash because they would do a thieves knot instead of a square knot. So that's why wow. nowadays, a thieves knot, that's why it's important to know the difference in how you do a square knot correctly. You don't want your money stolen. Cut it out. Where's your knot? Louis, where's your knot? I don't see any, I don't see any, any knot tying. Tie your knot. Tie your knot. Tie your knot.
yeah. so we can start a job. I have a question. Are yeah. you brothers? No. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> So if you're using this end, this is your working end, this is your bitter end. That's the end that goes off into wherever. That's your line that's going off to infinity. Use your imagination. That line's somewhere else. This is your working end. This is the, knot, the line that you're going to use, or the end you're going to use to make the knot with, okay? okay? So the bitter end always goes on bottom. Just remember that. Bitter end always goes on bottom. So when we make our loop, see that? Our working end comes on top, and our bitter end is always on bottom. That's our, I'll explain, I'll explain, I'll explain, I'll explain, I'll explain to you guys. Um, it's hard to explain um, right now, but when I explain it to you more in depth and I come around tables, I'll be able to help you. Uh, second rule of thumb with tying knots, there's always going to be two basic holes, okay? Your first hole, we just made. That's your knot hole. There's going to be a knot hole, and then there's going to be a securing hole. So the second hole we're going to make, say there's uh, something right here that we need to secure. We're going to loop it through, and that right there, is our securing hole. So we've got our working hole, our knot hole, and our securing hole. So we need to make sure we keep our holes separate. Wait, what? He's coming. Just I'll come around. <laughs> All right. So that's the, that's the basis of, uh, of knots. When we do it more, you'll understand as I go through them and I come around the tables and I'll help you guys out. But for now, we do the bowling, okay? We're going to go through. we got our line. And we're going to make a six with our working end here on top. So we're going to make this end on top of that, not behind, because the bitter end is always on bottom. So now we put this, make a six, right? See our little six? Our little loop? Make our six. And as we tie bowling, there's supposed to be a story that goes along with this, okay? Here, this end right here that we're working with, this is the bunny, okay? So as the story goes, the bunny comes out of his behind out of his hole. Okay, our bunny comes out of the hole, goes behind the tree, and he runs back into his hole. Mm. <laughs> and that's how we make our bowling. We're going to skip that now. <laughs> <laughs> Top are all variants of the bowling. Um, the first one we're going to do is the double bowling. So you all know how to do the bowling knot. 
Uh, the double bowling, the only reason we would use it, so I, I taught a couple of you guys uh, like something we would use, right? So if I'm up top and you're down like a few uh, stories beneath me and I need to get some paint up there where I'm at and you have the paint, I'm going to feed you down the line, you'll tie the bowling around it and then I can pull up the, the paint can. So now what happens if there's two paint cans that I have to pull up and for some reason we have to use the same line for it? And if you think about it, two paint cans, they're going to go the same one, they're not going to go up right. So now what are we going to do? We can add a second loop, a second securing hole, and a double bowling, and now we can pull them up and put one on each hole. Okay? We wouldn't really use it much, but if we need to, we got to know how. So we're going to do the exact same thing to start off. We're going to make our six. We're going to come out, the rabbit's going to come out. So now we got our securing hole, right? But now we need a second securing hole. So all we're going to do is make a second securing hole. And now we start the story all over again. Rabbit comes out, behind the tree, and right back in. The only thing we did was we added a second securing knot to add a second securing item. So now we can secure two different things at once. I'll, run, I'll go over it a few times. I'm not going to ask you guys to, to perfect this one, okay? Put your rope down. Put your rope down. So, Just listen. Alright, this is how we're going to do the double bowling, okay? We make our six. Here's our securing knot. Here's our little uh, our knot hole, okay? That's the working hole. Yeah, we're going to come around. We're going to loop it around the, the paint can, okay? And then now we're going to loop it around another paint can, okay? So now we got two of our securing holes, and now we start the story. Rabbit comes out, around the tree, back into the hole. One more time. One more time? Alright, if anybody has any more, if anybody wants to see it again, I'm going to do it one more time for you. So, we make our loop. Rabbit comes out, okay, rabbit's going to come back out, around the tree, back into the hole, just like before. The only thing is, rabbit's going to come out one time before he comes out the second time. One more day, please. I got to get yeah, up December 5th. I get this all day until December 5th. Alright, so... We make our loop. Alright, remember, bitter end is on bottom, so we make our loop with the bitter end on bottom. The rabbit's gonna come out just like before, except all we're gonna do is add a second securing hole. Rabbit comes out, around the tree, back into the hole. That's more adult conversation. Okay. <laughs> Real quick, because uh, they're kind of complicated, and I might not 100% know how to do them. Like, we, we never use these. Um, the first one is a sheep shake, so if you think about it, so we gotta, we have to use this line. For whatever reason, this line has to be used. But there's a tear right in the middle. But we have to use it, even though it's kind of unsafe, what we're going to do is a sheep shank. So now this line is going to be supported by more of itself. Um, so what we're going to do, is we're going to make a big S. Right here in the line, I'm not going to ask you guys to do this. Alright, so now here's where our tear is, right here in the middle. And all we're going to do is take the ends, wrap it around, secure it through. And we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Wrap around and back through. <laughs> so now this line right here in the middle that was torn is now protected by three lines. So now instead of just one line holding that weight, now there's three lines holding that weight. It's magic. But not time. Right. Like I said, I'm not going to ask you guys to practice these just because uh, these last two knots. Very, very, very rarely used, and they're kind of complicated. So I'm not going to ask you guys to learn that in, you know, five minutes. And this last knot is just for fun. It's a Spanish bowling. Honestly, it'll probably never be used ever again. The only reason we'd use that is for uh, what's called the boatswain's chair. So if we're underway and we have to paint the side of the ship, 
Uh, what we would have is an actual chair that they would sit in and they'd sit there, they've secured it to it, and they can now hang over the side, being secured in this chair, and paint the side. Say for some, uh, whatever reason, we have to paint the side of the ship, and we don't have the chair. There's a special knot we can tie that we can put someone in this chair, secure it around their legs, and hang them off the side of the ship so they can paint. Oh, yeah. They don't they, they don't do it. <laughs> but it's something that it's one of those things that's supposed to make you gotta know how to do because it's it's kind of a pride thing really. <laughs> Board. Okay. So we're gonna take our line and we're gonna make a pretzel. I'm sure you've all seen pretzels. We eat pretzels, they're fantastic. We make a pretzel with our left side over the right. Okay, now we're gonna take this left loop, put it inside the right loop, and flip the right loop over. Right, I told you it's complicated. Alright, so now what it's going to look like is a massive clover leaf. Yeah, I told you. Unnecessary. You're going to have this. How do we get to that? Magic. We're, we're going to Harry Potter this one. That's how we do this. He doesn't look. He doesn't either. Okay. Now we're going to take the bottoms. We're going to roll them up and through. We're going to do that with that side. And same with the other side. Roll it up and through. Now we got our ends. And pull. So these two right here, if we're using a lot bigger line, making bigger holes, is where if they needed me to go off the side of the boat and paint the side of the boat, my legs would go through here, and I'm going to hold right here with one hand, and I'm going to have a paint roller in the other. And they're going to be people up there up top, making sure they don't let go, and I'm going to be secured, probably using the bowling, because that's what we use for literally everything. They're going to tie that off with a bowling, I'm just going to sit there, paint the side of the boat, in this. Yeah, no. So, like I said, it's a knot we'll never, we'll never use, but it's kind of a pride thing as opposed to make to know how to do it. You know, it's like 10 to 10 plus 12, right? No, I ain't have it. It's almost small. It's almost small. No. All right. Um, as far as knots go, that's about all we have. If you guys have any questions about Bose's mate, Navy, military, um, you can ask me. Now is the time. Me, Cole. Uh, um, so if anybody has any questions right now